and a two liter of pet each. Or not, I think we were beer. I can't remember. You drink a lot of beer. Yeah, I got a lot of beer. <laughs> beer. Um, and so like, oh, okay. You guys having like a party or something? And we're like, no, no. They give us the pizza to go box, like including our, our slices. We got our drinks and we sat down at the table and we ate everything. <laughs> and then as we were walking out of the of the shop and going, okay, see ya, thanks. There's <laughs> and then we went to a bar and we started we found out they had Guinness on tap so we got when she poured us our third Guinness all of a sudden she put a shot glass in front of each of us upside down and we're like did you want her shot? you want her shot? what the fuck's that? Yeah. so when she came back around we're like what's with the shot glass? and she's like oh where are you guys from? Oregon the West Coast. Oh! <laughs> well, here here in New York, our tradition is you buy three, get one free. So the shot glass is what I use to symbolize that you guys are on your third beer and the next one's on me. Oh. And we're like, well, shit. <laughs> I'm all loaded up. That must be no. nice. <laughs> so we had 12 beers there. <laughs> and, then, and then we had, I don't remember how many beers at the strip club. So every bar that I went to in New York, the shots were actually really cheap. Really? Yeah. Every bar that I went to, and that was 2012. It always irritates the shit out of me here when you order a shot and they want to charge you like you just ordered a fucking cocktail. Like $8 for a shot or $6 for a shot at Jameson. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Uh huh. And yeah, so over there, the bars that I went to, the most expensive shot I paid for was $5. What? And that was a uh, Grey Goose. Really? Yeah. Like, it, yeah. Right. Just as long as you're not uh, in uh, Times Square, the prices are good. Huh. But once you're in Times Square, no, alcohol is stupid expensive. Oh, I'm sure. Because um, they're going to hit up all the fucking tourists. Yeah. And I, I really did like New York not to live there. Like, it's right. a great place to oh, visit. Exactly. It was a cool place to visit. Yeah. And not a good place to live. And we found out that... The nightlife. Oh, my gosh. If you want to have a bubble Loves. around you. Yeah, just a cigar. Yep. Yep. Do what? Smoke a cigar. Like, if, if you just... Oh, if you're just if you're people will make way for you. If you're it's just walking great. down the street, you're going to be shoulder to shoulder. Oh, yeah. Everybody. You light a cigar, and 10 foot radius around you. Scatter. No <laughs> shit. Yeah. yeah. Nobody likes to smell them. The only one, uh, me and my buddy, we walked to Times Square before the concert. We went to the concert after it was done. I mean, we, we were still wide awake because we're three hours back. So we're like, well, fuck, let's walk to Times Square. We got these cigars. Let's smoke them while we walk. And it's still the same amount of people out on, out on the street. The they only, just find the a way only, to get away from you. The only two people that got close to us were also smoking cigars. Huh. They kind of walked into our bubble and went like, wait, what's going on? Oh, oh hey, oh. you guys! Like, yeah! <laughs> yeah. And then I met that, uh, gosh dang, you guys seen super bad, right? Yeah. Yeah. The fat guy, uh, gosh, I forget his name. Uh, oh no, the fat kid. The, yeah. the one that yeah, has I know his, what you're uh, talking about. his back is located on his cock. I, I can't you scratch my back, I scratch your back. The funny thing about my back is it's located on my car. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think so. Yeah. So I saw him leaving the back alley in yes. Chinatown. <laughs> oh, right. <really? laughs> yeah. And I think he uh, was part of the drug deal. And we stopped and talked to him. He was like, yeah, my grandma's sick. I got to go. Like, uh-huh. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah, or he there was, was probably this, uh, just buying some weight loss drugs. Uh, yeah, yeah. In 2012, most of them continued to be fat for the next, you know. I didn't say they were effective. <laughs> <weight loss drugs. laughs> yeah, no. Chris doesn't have an interest in going to New York, so that's why we're going to go to Boston before yeah. we go to. If you uh, Portland, Portland, Maine. You ever choose to? New York City is kind of it is kind of fun. Pizza. It's crazy. Oh, like, and it's those hot dog so, stands. So different. 
the hot dog stands are good. Yeah. There's the blue, oh, no, blue the umbrellas like and the red yeah. umbrellas. Really cheesy. Right, the blue ones aren't blue ones, Nathan's. I can't remember, I was in, uh, but I think the blue ones are better. <laughs> yeah, well, that's so, what everybody says. Nate, if you go well, to New York, you get a Nathan's. Yeah, we went to Coney Island and got uh, which were really good. But when I was in junior high, my mom's best friend from her childhood lived in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And it was the spring break after my dad had died, and my mom got these $99 round trip tickets, travel tickets. And so she took my brother and I, and we went and stayed with her best friend. We stayed for 12 days. And we went to Washington, D.C., New York, Philadelphia, Intercourse, Hershey. Went down to Virginia to George Washington's house. Just like Gettysburg, we went there. We just toured all around. And uh, so, like, when we went to New York, we only spent the day in New York, but um, we went to the basement of Macy's and had New York cheesecake. And then when we were in Philadelphia, we went, I can't remember where we were at, but we had Philly cheesesteaks. So it was like everywhere we went, we had to have their signature thing. It was real interesting in Philadelphia. Is that it was in my car? Because I was not expecting them to put cheese whiz. On everything? Yeah, I was not oh, expecting that. Huh. I wouldn't have expected that either. They do, but it's so good. It's super salty. Yeah, so drink water with it. Oh, yeah. Very, very yeah. Very I already found the past. Oh, we're happy. Might as well get the credit of doing it. Yeah. That was so great. And then my sister and I went back to New York because she didn't get to go on the trip with us. Well, I had to stop dodging. And so uh, her and I went in 2007 and spent four days in New York and kind of did everything that I didn't get to do when I was younger. Except for go up in the Statue of Liberty because that was after 9 11. So, and when we got out there, we had taken a tour with the hotel that we stayed at. When you stayed three nights, you got the fourth night and a tour package for free. And so we landed, the hotel came and picked us up, took our bags at the hotel, and immediately jumped two onto what? these the two vans. houses. We jumped onto the van and went on a tour. So I didn't sleep for like two days straight. Because we had flown overnight, got picked up, went on this tour, went all over New York, came back, did dropped it. dead in our hotel room just 8 30 at night. We're like, oh my god. And the next day we went down to uh, Broadway. And bought Broadway tickets. And got to see Phantom of the Opera. We had a standing room only tickets, which were $25. But they were sold out other than standing room. So we're like, fuck it, whatever. We went out to Coney Island, came back, stood in our section, and during intermission, this usher came over and tapped us on the shoulder. And I thought he was going to yell at me for sitting on the ground again. Because <laughs> he'd already told me to stand up that I couldn't sit. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so tired. <laughs> and he asked my sister, he said, how many is there in your party? And she said, there's two. And he goes, okay, we'll be right back. And he comes back and he's like, follow me. I'm like, okay, what's going on? And he takes us down, and I thought he was, well, I thought he was leading us out the door because there was like a side exit. Right. Like, God damn it. Getting booted out. Fuck. Get the fuck out. And there was a lady that was sitting in front of us, and my sister, like, has really bad allergies to anything that smells. And she was just snotting and snorting from this lady's perfume. She was just like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm dying. The usher took us down six rows from the stage. Wow. $500 ticket. Because oh, someone didn't show up. And he's like, yeah, you guys can see her. We're like, fuck yeah. <laughs> I cried. I could feel like, because there's a flash on the stage. Did you say I this was a O-Town concert? 
<laughs> there was fire flash. I could feel it on my face. Yeah. And you could see like the performers like spitting as they're talking and singing. It was just like, oh my god, oh my god. And my sister's just laughing at me. And then she had her camera and she turned it to like some setting because you weren't supposed to be take any photographs or anything. Couldn't have any of that. And she like had it down like this and she's like snapping pictures at the curtain call of everybody. And she's like, what are they gonna do? Kick me out now? Fine. <laughs> But yeah, walking down the streets in New York, like it was pouring down rain one time, or one of the days we were there, and I was drenched up to my knees wearing jeans, like just soaked. And I had an umbrella and a raincoat, <coughs> and we're walking down Times Square going to Toys R Us, and my sister is like, I wish I had a video camera. She's like, you know, you just kind of get into a rhythm of walking with so with a crowd of people. Mm -hmm. And she's like, everyone was in sync with their umbrellas as they passed each other. You know, it was just down and up, down and up, down and up. She's like, it was so You good. guys can put your minis in the middle of the map here. <sighs> and you can place yourselves however you kind of want yourselves. I'm working on it. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> I'm sneaking. <laughs> I cast this guy self on myself. But these are not how really well. There, now you're actually looking at <laughs> you can look up the we're, we're all getting ready to fight and he's just <laughs> Guys, I heard noise behind us. <laughs> 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 Who's with me? No. Oh. Roger. Keep up the trees. Squirrel! Come back to the door. Corey, we're going to kill Bone Cruncher. What? <laughs> He's going to die. We're killing Bone Cruncher. Better fucking not. He's going to die. Better not. So you guys leave uh, Fort Vengeance and start to make the long journey to, uh, to, what was the name of this place? It is Harakamar. The Mithril Mine. The Mithril Mine, yes. Ugh. <laughs> Back yeah. to this place. Yeah, and I mean, it's, it, it is going to take you, um, there's another giant in there, I'm going to try to hide it. Probably the better part of a oh, couple of weeks <laughs> to get there because um, I mean, what is the scale of this? It is one hex equals ten miles. Was that all? So you guys are up here and you're going down here. So it That's not that far. It doesn't even show correctly. Hmm. Oh I mean, no, you're going over fly, here. Bitches. You're going over here, so, you know, from here to here, and one hex is 10 miles. It's going to take you probably a couple of weeks of trudging through the rainforest. Yes. So we established that Venthros was following the trail of bodies. Does that mean Venthros eventually showed up to the mines? <coughs> no, what now? For Venthros' backstory, he was following Rogar on the trail of destruction. These guys left control. Does that mean he was at the mines? Um, I probably saw the Baylor and I was like, ah, no. I don't know that you actually saw the Baylor. You were probably aware um, of what was going on, uh, but you never actually physically saw him. But you knew it, you, you definitely could tell his presence, but. but were, was he in the area, is what I'm asking? Like yes. Physically. Yes. So, in theory, I could plane shift us there. To Harakmar, I suppose you could. 
fast travels. <laughs> yeah, fast travel. Yeah, it's fast travel. Just go to a safe point and fast travel. <laughs> what do you mean there are enemies in your pot? The so, dragon picks Venthros. <laughs> <laughs> so Venthros plane shifts you to the base of this volcanic mountain uh, that is where the entrance to Harakmar is. Um, as you are <coughs> contemplating climbing and 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 all of that, uh, out of the jungle comes a group of zombies, ogre zombies, and my favorite, a Tyrannosaurus zombie. Oh, I'm over Oh, dibs. <laughs> Santa Gray. Yeah. So everybody roll initiative. Yeah, right. There are six zombies, which are denoted by the um, uh, goblins. There is one Tyrannosaurus zombie, and then there are four ogre zombies. Oh my so, gosh, we're going back to the place where I just I couldn't fight the giant. All I could do was ram guys. Around. Yeah, you just kept That's where we're smacking going. him with your shield. Dante, what'd you get? <laughs> I attacked you. I did. had shield masses, so you were just pushing them. <laughs> Dante. I got a dirty 20. 20. Ventress. <laughs> Rogar. Fifteen. Gerda. Jesus. And Draxus. Uh, dirty twenty. So, Gerda, you see um, these four hulking ogre zombies, six regular zombies, and the terrifyingly large Tyrannosaurus zombie. What would you like to do? I'm going to try to stab the sure paladins get it too. Uh, turn the unholy. Uh, oh wait, this is part of both of devotion. Turn the faithless, you can use your channel divinity to utter ancient words that are painful for fae and fiends to hear. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, turn on death for a specific paladins. Yeah, it's an uh, oath of devotion. Uh, let's just do 
the moonbeam. Okay. It's not the soup. Why? Has memory though. Aaron. What? That's the way he said it. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron, you don't remember? He was our bard. Yeah, I remember Aaron, but I don't. Whatever he'd say, moonbeam. He said it in a certain way. He had had a booming like moonbeam. Oh. So moonbeam. um, Who do you want to moonbeam? Banana candy. Huh? <laughs> banana candy. <laughs> Kill it. Moon be my banana candy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do. So these are what? Those are ogre zombies. And what are those? Those are regular zombies. So Mostly you, here, but if this guy comes forward, he'll go into it too. Right, so you can get these two guys. Uh, Where's your disc? It is right. Oh, I see your, your path blocking. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh. I have AOEs now. Which one? Weird. Destructive oh. waves. Oh, I was gonna say. So ten foot diameter. They save, but they'll take half damage. But will they, though, if it's yes. radiant? Yes. Against they're, zombies? Yeah. They're not vulnerable to radiance. Um, I thought they were. No, there are certain weapons that deal radiant damage or certain abilities that deal radiant damage that will deal additional, but zombies in and of themselves are not vulnerable. No undead appears to be vulnerable to radiant damage, which I think is I think it, it says otherwise. Like sunburst, it says they have disadvantage on the save. Right. It. Yeah, it's it's very specific in the spell or ability it's, or weapon itself. It's not um, a vulnerability baked in. But yeah, it's beca- like in third edition, you'd have these clerics go in and just start spamming heal or cure mass wounds and destroy them. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's why they changed it because it was. Oh, we know what to do in this situation. Pop, 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 done. Move on. Yeah. 21 points of damage total. Okay, so, so they will take 10. Alright. Uh, anything with a bonus action or whip? Yeah, I'll move 
Dino. Okay. Dante Rapier. How far away are they from us? Uh, Two of them, it looks like. <laughs> Well, the Tyrannosaurus zombie can move 40 feet. I mean, from, from, from us, for us. Well, yeah, no. you can move 30 feet. Your base. Well, I was thinking, like, this is about 30 feet. Your base is, is a five foot square, so. Okay. Right. So this would be about 30, right? Roughly. Yeah, that's about. Any shrubs or anything like that? They're, They're in a jungle, jungle so. Okay, well, I'm gonna run to out here and then hide. Okay, go ahead and make a hide check. Are you hiding as a bonus action? Yeah. Okay. So 26. Okay. That was a nine. I know. Anything below? Oh, wait, sorry, 27. Anything below uh, 10? He automatically gets 10. Uh, go on the road. And I'm gonna throw a dagger. I had a tape measure. Oh. That would be the tape measure, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, one inch is, uh, one is five oh, yeah, feet. So okay. And you're going to throw a dagger? Uh, well, uh, what's my dagger? You're not? No, they're out of range. Okay. Yes. They're not out of rage. Right. Do you so your bonus action was to hide. Do you want to Actually, use your main action to dodge? Can, can I can I redo that? I'm gonna run, dash, then hide. Yes. Okay. You so I use a dash action. You would use a dash action and then hide. Yeah. So yeah, you can do that. Okay. St. Draxus. Uh, St. Lord Draxus. St. Lord Draxus. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Lord St. Draxus. Yes. Uh, well, I'm going to rage. Well, of course. And then I'm going to fly over here. Get me feet. Can you make it over there? I have a total of like 100. It's either 120 or 130 feet to fly. You can make it. I think it's 120 feet for flight. Well, I can't remember what the wing. I think the wings that I got from from the sword were like 90 feet of flying, and then I have the ability, Your ability I, I right. have, which is 40 feet. Right. So you add yeah. that together. And yeah. Just be angry flying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. Why? I'd be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly in front of. Okay. Zombie Rex here. Punch him in the nose. Superman punch him? Yep. <laughs> With a sword. Ooh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> That's rough. I mean, it's still 20 something. 20 what something? Uh, 25. Yeah, Zombie Rex is not hard to hit, so yes. Sweet. I'm dead, so I get to have an extra D10. Of the reds. Reds. Technical failure. 
this wasn't supposed to happen. I think Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, what are you doing? So, how much damage did you do the first time? 63. Okay. Alright. And then, the next to hit is... 33 to hit? <laughs> yes, that is. Twin spell. Twin spell over there? Because we'll make it a bonus action. We actually have not done here. Okay. Because it's a match, it only goes two feet. Only five. Oh, stone. Okay. That's like that. I need sixty feet. <laughs> okay. It's a sixty foot radius. Yes. Okay. Do they get a save of any kind? Uh, DC nineteen. Dex. I'm guessing this also is going to target me to come there. Uh, um, zombie Rex fails. They have disadvantage, by the way, because it's radiant. What the spell says. Yeah. Am, yeah. I, am I doing this too? You don't have disadvantage. Con save. It's a con save. Yeah, 22 to save for the regular zombies. With disadvantage? You with disadvantage. I rolled two 19s. <sighs> Okay. And the ogre zombies get a nat one. So if you save, you take half damage, and you are not blinded. So the regular zombies, the most worthless of all the zombies, are the ones who are not blinded. Excellent. <laughs> they haven't quite opened the eyes yet. Uh, and I need two more pieces. Oh, two more big pieces. Big. Oh, I'm sorry, I was here. Huh? Huh? No. <laughs> like, I literally gave him all of these for his Forty-six. Yes. Huh? Uh, so. So twenty-three. Yes. And then half that. And you're also not blinded. So I'm taking. That's good. Thirty-six. Sixty-two. So you take half and half that. That was forty. Say thirty-six or forty-six. 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 So twenty-three. So I'll do that. Yeah. You get a little sunburn on the blood spot of your neck. Hot! Kind of. What do you no, guys no. do something? It's that feeling of oh, hot brass it. falling so down your shirt. What's that? It's that feeling of hot brass falling down your shirt. No. <laughs> right. say, that's weird. I, ju I just got swamp ass. <laughs> What'd you guys do? <laughs> <laughs> Even at half damage, that is one more than what the regular zombies can take. So these guys So they weren't blind, but now they're all dead. Right. Again. 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 <clears throat> now instead of being again? undead, they're reliving. <laughs> right. <laughs> what are the directions they of the holy hand grenade? Regenerate or whatever because of the radiant damage or something? Right. Okay. Um, the ogre zombies 
are still up, but blind. Counts as one. And the <laughs> zombie Rex um, is still up. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. Oh, boy. Now, the thing that gets me is how do you blind a zombie? Half of these dipshits don't ha even have any eyeballs left. The power of Christ. <laughs> I, I guess. Uh, the power of Christ bonus blind. action. The power of Christ compels you. I am compelled. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll uh, spell my hairball. Okay. You look, so, you look so proud. You're casting Fireball, of course I'm proud. That's totally oh, serious. I thought because you were going to be going to get DC 19 deck save. Potential devastation. Well, yeah, because so I'm hurting so advantage. much right now. Yeah. Would they be well, you're also flying, so I mean. What? Would they be at disadvantage? Zombie Rex fails. How? Uh, so, like, how high up is it? Going? Ogre zombies fail. It's like a sphere, so. Okay, so, no idea. so uh, what, what save am I making? Uh, dex save. Dex? Dex, DC 19. Oh, nope. Oh, terrible. I did. <laughs> dice jail. Dice jail. No ones. Cassie's dice. Yep. 20. 30. Oh, yeah. Forty-seven points of fire damage. Okay. Twenty-three. Oh, it's harder than you for Sunday. Yeah, have one less eight level spell. <laughs> the other came out of my staff. Mm -hmm. Now I'm up with the other one. Whew! It got really hot! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it might help your swamp ass. <laughs> so, the... Oh, shit. Ogre zombies time. Hot. Oh, yeah. Don't forget. What? The There's pork? a food in the oven. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Maybe now it can be shredded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a resilient off. motherfucker, is what it was. Okay. Anything with moot? 30 feet in the air. Okay. <laughs> I took a total of 33. Uh, Rogar, what would you, you like for? I am going to move 30 feet forward. Okay. Yeah, and also, I'm going to be in the hunting farm. I have wings. Mm -hmm. He's not really a dragonborn anymore. He's a half dragon. Oh, great. Come in his new form. Buzz, 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 buzz. buzz. Oh, no, it should be on the three, so we can uh, hide here. Oh, there you go. Very deep. I'll just say you're pointing. Go with the chair. Thank you. <laughs> just like I have a place to keep. Okay, there. so you move five forward, thirty feet. Um. So, as a bonus action, <laughs> Zombie Rex goes <laughs> and barfs out a zombie. Yay! Hairball. Uh, How high is the zombie? The Zombie Rex? It it's is high. huge, so I mean, it's like 15 feet tall. Okay. So, he barfs it out, it's falling. So, you get an attack of opportunity. Shit! <laughs> uh, <laughs> and does it take ball damage? <laughs> And then, <laughs> Zombie Rex is going to make two attacks on um, Drax's. Ventress. What? 
It shoots lasers out of its eyes. Jewish laser beams come shooting. Jewish, uh, laser, Jewish beams. laser beams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a zombie T Rex. We can take that. It's Jewish space hat. lasers. <laughs> It's a zombie here, so we can handle that. It's a little no, they control oh, Jewish right. zombie yeah. here, that's right. <laughs> so fucking Who said that? Uh, the thing that was I, like Rashida to leave? I think so, I don't remember. So <laughs> it was sent to the weather. What? Control the weather, and they have the, the space lasers. <laughs> you shoot him. I want to say it was like from Marjorie Taylor Greene or something. She's a fucking idiot. Holy shit. Yeah, Marjorie Taylor Greene or uh, who's it? Lauren Bobbert. Fucking dipshits. Uh, <laughs> okay, so it's a Jewish space laser. Yeah, so the Jewish space laser uh, is going to start with a bite attack and probably miss with a 17. Yes, that misses. And then it is going to swing its tail at you. Fuck! Uh, and miss with a 12. Yeah, that also misses. I think that dice might need to go in cooler. Alright. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. It stuff shredded like nobody's Oh, it finally, it did, it came apart? Yeah. Yeah, next time I do that, I'm, I'm not going to follow the direction. Because they had, they, they were like, oh, well, we'll preheat your grill to 250 and just leave it in there all day. And when it reaches a, between 195 and uh, 205 internal temperature, take it off. Well, if it's only set for 250, you're not going to hit that internal temperature. I mean, if I left it in there till like tomorrow, maybe, but. Yeah, I turned the oven on to 400. Right. Well, I had cranked the grill up to like 450, and I was like, this, it's not. It, it, it like got to 185 and then just fucking sat there, and I'm like, I mean, I go. To, I guess I could go to 500, but right. I mean, that seems a bit excessive for a pork shoulder. Uh, just, there's a lot of pork in there. You hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Send, send some home in the end. Yeah. Either oh. we're gonna have to freeze it for next time, or you guys are gonna have to take some shovel. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Um, I can't eat pork. Yeah. No. Why? It wreaks havoc on me. It's yeah. It's gonna come out. Like I can have way. a few bites of it and be fine, but if anything more than that, I'll regret it. So like when I do pork ribs or something like that, I boil them, I parboil them first, and then grill them because if I don't render off all that fat, then we are just destroyed. So yeah. Which makes me glad that we're doing the game tomorrow night because I just need the whole day to shit my guts out of me. I have to plan ahead for these things. <laughs> so, the zombie Rex puked out a zombie, or uh, a zombie. He puked one out? Yeah, there's zombies inside the Tyrannosaurus. Okay. So, Gerda, what would you like to do? Well, ooh. Okay, well, I'm going to move the moonbeam. Okay. And I'm going to move it to him. To uh, Zombie Rex? Yeah. Yeah, okay, and I'm so going to focus it on, like, his body. Zombie Rex fails his save uh, with, like, a five. So, or, no, I'm sorry. So, well, he still fails. He got an 11. AG points damage? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to move closer. Okay. Wait, okay. What is, what's going on here? I don't understand. We're flying. Okay. Yeah. So if you lift them up, you can see how high they are. 30 feet. Oh, that's cute. 40 feet. Clever. So I'm going to go up to this little puke zombie. Okay. Bonus swing. action. Swing. Why is that a bonus action? Oh wait, you had already had Moonbeam cast. So yeah, you get you get a regular attack action. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh yeah. Zombies have an AC of eight, so. So super high. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. Twelve, thirteen. Twenty-one. 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 Okay. Added to that. Okay. He does not go down. The little rat scouty. All right, I'm swinging on him again then. All right. On their back are Riding on the back of these uh, Girolon <laughs> zombies are Yonti uh, Malasons. Are those also zombies? No. Get some time for the fireballs. Hold on here. <clears throat> Dante Ripier, do you see um, these uh, Girolons come in and these uh, Yonti Malasons riding their backs? What do you want to do? Zombie Rex has advantage because he's blind. So 
Go right ahead. Yeah. Yeah, he'll he'll uh, swing his tail on you. I'd say he's blind, so would that be he's at disadvantage? Twenty six. Yeah, that hits. Which is good because the the higher roll is nat twenty. Jesus. Yeah. So he bitch slaps you. Now see w the way this would really go is that he would fly up and go. What can you go? Bam! Right into a tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would have been the nap. Um, Twenty-three points of bludgeoning damage. So eleven. So eleven. Still waiting for the days here to go. So this and then Chris says, no, that was happened. Right? Yeah. And we're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm like 20 feet above him now. Right. So I can do a charge attack on my way down. Okay. Uh, 25 to hit. Yes. Okay. 
<laughs> so Zombie Rex goes down, does not save. But it's floating from his stomach. <laughs> Yeah, climbing out of the wreckage of his guts. Man. Are three more zombies. He's a Trojan horse. A Trojan dinosaur. Right. Right. So are they in the moonbeam then? Yeah. Yeah. So I guess well, hold on. They on their turn. Or did they enter it? Enter what? The moonbeam. Well, they were kind of in it to begin with. They were just inside him. But now are they in the beam? Right, so on their turn, they'll take damage. Gotcha. Starting their turn. Uh, and they go on 12. On their turn, on their turn. or when they enter the moonbeam? Uh, uh. They were. They didn't enter the moonbeam. Did because they take damage from it? They were already in the beam, inside. But T -Rex. that's what I'm asking. Did they take damage? No, because they were inside the T-Rex. So they just entered the moonbeam. Uh, I mean, sure. They'll they'll go ahead and make a um, a con save. But I mean, they were going to do that on their turn anyways. Um. Nineteen to save. Yeah. <laughs> so they will take half damage. Nine. Okay. Uh. So Draxus, you have another attack. Yeah, I look at the zombies that crawl out of him, and I go, Shh, no. And I turn around and, and come over to these guys. Okay. And I'm going to attack that one. The Gerlon. Or the Yanti. Snacks on snacks on snacks. Whatever the the thing that the Yanti is right now. Yeah, the Uralon. Uralon zombie. Uh, uh, Twenty-five. Yes, that is. And this is also zombie, right? Correct. I'm dead. Jumping take jacks. a breaky break. Jumping jacks. <laughs> Jumping jacks. <laughs> then you take another break so we can Dude, walk around and get some blood moving. Lunges. Jesus. Um, Lunges. So. Giralon zombie is dead and his rider is prone because he falls to the ground. I just realized I have an extra attack because not only did I kill the, the Rex, I killed the Right. So I get an extra attack for that. Yep, you get another attack. And he's prone? Yep, you get advantage on it. He was not a zombie though, right? No, he's a Yanti Malice. Okay. Curb stomp. Natural. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Double he's damage. Fuck your life, bitch. Fuck your life. <laughs> Fuck you in the eye hole. Do you see some Rick and Morty starts tomorrow? Does it? Does it really? Yeah. Oh, sweet. June 20th. Hell. Yeah, yeah. Watch party. Okay. So hard. Hi. <clears throat> Telling them all? I'm working on it. How many have you killed? I killed the big Rex. I killed the one zombie dude. And, he and just now got, his rider's prone. And he just got a nat 20. Uh oh. On the rider. Shh. That's the beast rider. How much damage did you do to the beast before it went down? 58. Which they only have 46. Uh, currently, because they've already taken some damage. Yeah. Is there 
white rocks. That was pretty good. She's better than you. <laughs> he knows. He's well aware. He signed the contract. <laughs> that was not in the contract. It was. No. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't know you were drunk. Small print. Yeah, that small print gets you every time. Every time, yeah. Can you follow that if I glass? And then <laughs> oh. Telescope. Each letter has like, a whole sentence in it. <laughs> wow. Just looking under, under microscope, and you're like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> not okay. There's only one page I signed up, and not but I actually looked at it. It's like 450 pages. <laughs> Just a point zero one size text. God, last night we were on the black one. <laughs> on the Valisar? <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. 150 what? 127. It was a low roll. Well, that was a little more than half. Oof. Or twice what his um, max is. All right. Anything, any more movement? Uh, No, no, I'm good. All right. Venthros. My variant's looking a little cold. But you could throw a fireball over there. <laughs> As you're throwing the fireball, this is where they yell out, No, we're friends! <laughs> I'm here to secure the trade route! No! Counter spell called the wrong spell. Just kidding. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, just kind of like looking at <laughs> My life's work. Get it? <laughs> Fireball. Yeah. DC 19 deck save. Oh, there. Ah. Sorry. Jerilon fails. Malison fails. Oh, you're pro I, am I having to do the same as Yeah, well? uh, DC 19 deck save. Hey, I got it. Nice. Yeah, 17 plus. Two. What's that? Oh, your deck saves only two? Yeah. Oh, I thought you had a 13. I got an advantage on deck saves that I can see. Your back is turned. I'm sure you're like... Yeah, yeah but it's kind of like, <laughs> you know, massive fire. Like, they're... Well, his eyes are lighting up. <laughs> 41. Some reflection of fire. <laughs> How much? 41. Eyes, 41. He because 41. He's fought with <laughs> uh, they're both still up. Then How much was it? 41. We'll 41. Claw down right here, line up the shot. Ten. Then quick and spell lightning bolt. Okay. Um. And like always, most of the damage okay. I have taken has been from my friends. <laughs> All of that. No, the T-Rex did get a, oh, a, did he a get tail it? whip on me. Ooh. That's your nice. That's no, a good thing it wasn't a yeah. <laughs> Line up the shot so it pierces through all of them. Oh, yeah. Surrender. Oh, Yanti, don't surrender to the likes of you. To the likes of you. You are. You're all beneath them. You're. You are. If I'm beneath you, then how did I kill three of you? I'm still <laughs> beneath them. It doesn't matter. Yeah, no. It, you're always going to be less than for Yanti. Yep. Feels like dragons are cooler reptiles than snakes. Yeah, bitch. I didn't know that one. I bought 
<laughs> the Malison I know, right? <laughs> I'm gonna go over here and attack Draxus. Hey, uh, Kurt. Yeah. Can you bring me a Dr. Pepper, please? Sure. Those Wadanols are so good. Oh, man, they're so addictive. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, he said pull pork. I'm like, pull pork salad. That's on Hawaiian rolls. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> and then the inner fat, gluten loving body is like, mm -hmm. he bought the good stuff. Sorry, next time I'm gonna get less special. <laughs> it's just so cute. I'm excited to her for full pork. <laughs> I love full pork. Mm. Me too. Me too. Full pork's really cheap. It's really easy to do. Alright, we're gonna roll to hit. So, 17 to hit on the first one. That's a miss. 22 to hit on the second. That's my armor class. Okay. It loads. Link. Man, why are tools so damn expensive? You build them. For nine points of price. Damage. How much? Nine. Because. So four. Depending on what uh, you yeah. the tools to make you more money than the worth. Or, 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 <laughs> or save you more money than the worth. What they mean? You know, instead of like $10,000 worth of airsoft guns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rogar, what would you like to do? Oh my gosh, I actually get to do something. Yeah. Do it. Disallow. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move uh, maybe. What would you say? That's about 30 feet? I'm. Yeah, that's about. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, I am going to. I'm going to strike the ground and cast destructive wave. Oh shit! They all need to make a 15, a DC 15 uh, con save. Okay. <clears throat> and then I need. Uh, Yanti Malison fails with a one. Yeah. Uh, zombies. Do I need to do this too? No. <coughs> zombies fail with a nine. Beautiful. Okay, so I need. So don't these guys have to roll as well? No. Uh, or actually, hold on. And what kind of save was it? Uh, I nice. don't know. It doesn't. Doesn't yeah, I think so. Yeah, everybody in the radius, so Well, I, I don't know. I don't know if this hurts everybody else. Is it a spell or it's a spell. Let's see here. Destructive wave. And then I need ten D six. Yeah. Oh no, each creature you choose within 30 feet. Yeah, so it's going to be those. Okay, so nobody else needs to worry about it. Okay, so I'm striking with both thunder and rain. How did that take? Okay. Yeah, still good. Oh, the, yeah, you're like me. It's not charred. It's just yeah, just like, a, yeah, just like reduced sugar. Extra, yeah, <laughs> all three of them take thirty nine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so these guys are all dead. What about the Yanti Malison? Uh, he takes thirty nine. That's yeah. the word I wanted. Uh, that kills him. So tasty. Okay. I'm back on the map. You're back on the map. I'm on the map. I'm on the map. Okay. So. 
Um, Thank you, David. Oh, welcome. So now. Now we're so moving forward. What? Now. Now we've got. Four. Let's take a short break, and. Uh, you gotta move. Yeah. No, I gotta move around. Yeah. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. So we will take a brief break and we will be back in just a few. Josh spent so much money.